We'll take you back to the cricket shortly. But first, an innings of another kind is about to come to an end. Our friend and colleague Ray Deneen joined NBN almost 37 years ago as an announcer. For the fresh-faced bloke from Victoria, it was meant to be a short stay up north, but Ray was won over by his new job, of course, and his home and went on to become a journalist and a newsreader, the face of a TV network indeed, and one of the faces of an entire region. So every night at six, he's brought us events that have changed our lives, made us laugh, made us cry, and ultimately made us more aware of our world. Many of us here can't recall an NBN without him, but fortunately, Ray, you'll be glad to know, those with long enough memories have delved into the archives to bring us a special tribute. Happy retirement, Ray. <laughs> G'day Ray, Peter Overton from Channel 9 News in Sydney. Well, in anyone's language, you are a legend. More than 30 years as NBN news anchor. I'll let you into a little secret. I remember growing up on, going on my Central Coast holidays and watching you when I was a teenager. Ray, from all of us here at 9 News, we wish you a very happy retirement and Newcastle Television and beyond just won't be the same without you. Ray, congratulations on your retirement from all of us here on the Today Show. I think you're too young to retire. Yes. But 34 years, that is something for us uh, to aim for, all of us here at the Today Show. 34 years, imagine that. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Good luck, mate. Let's have a game of golf. You've earned yeah. it. but not the disaster which befell some country communities of Victoria and South Australia on Ash Wednesday, 10 months ago. Australia again made the world headlines on Christmas Day, 1974, when Cyclone Tracy flattened Darwin. Daylight showed the extent of damage caused by the bomb. It had ripped out the rear of the heavy-duty garbage disposal truck. Everyone, including passengers who had escaped unhurt, did what they could to save the people still trapped inside. Well, I just yelled out, has anyone got a torch? The dingo's got my baby. Australians have waited up through the night to see of their yacht, Australia 2, coming round Victory Point first. Uh, in television, you speak to the camera, and that represents just one person. We always say, you know, when I said that to the viewer, we never use the plural, because you don't really think about numbers, you just think about making sure that you get that picture, that message, that word picture across to each individual, and you only think of each one as an individual. Within minutes of police arriving at the scene, a massive turnout of patrons farewelling the Star Hotel on its final night of training turned into a terrifying group, hurling cans, broken glass and anything at police. Beer cans gave way to bricks, rocks and pieces of heavy timber. It was a day when not even the sky was the limit, but 73 seconds later, the unthinkable. Obviously a major malfunction. From Prince Harry, the saddest of tributes. On the coffin being born, just in front of him, a wreath of lilies and a card. Just one more. Mummy. Ray, oh my God, another plane has just hit. Huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Utter devastation. Good evening from Ray Deneen. And good evening from Melinda Smith. Well, welcome to this special edition of NBN News. That wave oh is a good God. 15, 20 feet tall. Easy. Oh Terrible. Oh. It was the first fatal earthquake ever in Australia. The ship with its 22 Filipinos aboard initially struck rocks just north of the carry hole. Well, I just watched it just come straight in with waves crashing over the side of it. It was unbelievable. The thunder from down under. Down the blind, Andrew John. Inside from Alba. Alba will score. Alba will score. Newcastle have won the grand final.
So now you all know my big secret. That's what a newsreader, or one in particular, sometimes wears beneath the desk. Tonight is a special night, though, a trouser night. The unusual sight of an audience in the studio for the news is a sign that this evening is one of a kind. Through the week, the news team has been putting together montages of the 37 years I've been at NBN, from a chubby-faced new chum in 1974, feeling his way to an old hand, and I thank everyone for their efforts. I also appreciate the hundreds of well-wishing messages from near and far I've received over the past three weeks since my retirement plans became known. It's been an absolute pleasure coming into your homes every night to tell you what's been happening. The good, the bad, the funny, the sad and the silly. We've had them all. Thank you for watching and I must thank the many people both at NBN and beyond who've been part of the incredibly large and well-oiled machine that makes the news happen every night. For now though, it's time to step back from the front line and let the next generation into the breach. After all, the world won't stop just because I'm trotting off. I'll still be around, though, not just on television, so if we come across each other, don't hesitate to come up and say hello. For now, though, see you later. <laughs>